Hello there, mister. And who might you be? Uh, what the hell is that? Uh, you think that I know, mister? Uh, Sound like something dying over there. Dad, are you kids lost? Oh yeah, so lost. I think everybody is lost in this world, Mr. Clown Man. Clown? Hello. Oh boy, more people. Uh, fucking fuck, fuck, someone, fuck, fuck, someone's fuck, home just said. I expect an awful lot for somebody you just met, mister. Your expectations will not be met, I'll let you know. I don't think, uh, these people I just met, mister. So, we, how we doing, huh? We, we have names. You know, my name is Nick, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Oh, he's fella. Oh, you know him, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, good to see him, bro. How about you, please? You know these two, fella. Oh. You two have a name. Cat got your tongue. Tongue got your cat. Uh, they called me, uh, Morgan. Oh. Morgan. Oh. Nice to meet you, Morgan. How about you, man? He's not very one, uh, much for talking. Oh, I guess that's uh, understandable these days, you know. Should be confident though, you know, man. Well, you know, what you... about you know, we uh, if you were heading somewhere, don't let us stop you. Just uh, you know, you know conversation. You know, that's that's what we like. Yeah, you know, uh, just making sure everything is okay with you. I'm just sorry you two uh, want me about. So you just say hi, you know? Make sure everything is okay. Alright. Oh, good, good. Good, so that's, that's good. Well, you know, we'll be about. I'm going to continue on, you know, uh, meet up with a few other brothers down the road, and, you know, you're more than welcome to stay around and, uh, you know, get to know us if you'd like. It's up to you. But Either way, take care, stay safe, if you don't. Good to see you again, Bob.
I'm gonna buy in terms of the deal. Are they being food? Sorry, my uh, my brothers didn't offer it, and I think uh, it's quite right. It's, uh, you're the guest of our town. Hmm, your town. This is our home. Uh, anyhow, if uh, you don't need food, uh, I won't bother you. Well, they could have done a lot of bad things, and they didn't. Got to mean something, right? So, uh, hmm? I was asking what uh, brings you guys up here to travel. Up here? We've been traveling south, mister. Oh. Well, uh, sorry to me, this is north. Well, uh, where'd you come from? I came from the capital. I'm not sure where she came from. From the... Oh, interesting. Both of you on the ground. Put the gun away, sir. Arms on your head, please. Yeah, any meaning of this, sir? Move. Ah, oh, yes, you will learn the meaning. The meaning very soon. Brother, do you have her? And you can go ahead and stand up now, both of you. I don't know if I could be standing up. Sorry, uh, me too. You know, when you come north, someone's home. You have to understand that. You know, you have a certain path up here. No one's exempt from judgment. You know, you'll realize now. I hope you two, uh, Sir, can you, get up? you know, I hope you two, uh, I can't really be getting up if i am got as much things as I have in my pack, mister. You don't mind if you help me. Very good. No problem. No problem. Be able to just cut the threads off that backpack. Sorry, I uh, accidentally cut the straps in your backpack. You can't get up with the backpack on anymore. Oh, boy. You gotta do some push-ups. Some, uh, you know, squats and stuff. Well, if you're carrying a uh, hundred some pounds of gear, mister, then uh, I'll see you uh, roll over with your hands tied up. Some kind of superhero. Yeah, I don't think it'd be that much of a job, you know. Uh, but don't worry. We don't need any belongings. Uh, we'll get it back. Uh, we, uh, uh, I'll, I'll carry it up for you. Don't worry. I'll carry it back. And, uh, don't, hey, you should follow him. Go to the wall and then turn around and face it. Make sure you back flip it in. <laughs> we got Sorry, man. Right, you'll be okay, huh? <laughs> you two will both be okay. You know. You feel it. Right? 
And I'll, I'll leave you back right over there. Don't worry about it. Or not going to leave you. So I said, I'm going to uh, hold. Uh, make sure I do this one. You know, brother, brother, how about you uh, join me? I'm as confused as you are. So, oh, sorry, brother. Sorry. You go, you go. No, 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 handle it, brother. No, you go, you go, handle it. What brings you two up here? This time, what brought you? You keep saying up here when we travel south. Okay. Okay, well, what brings you down here? We just traveling through, Mr. South from Russia. Is that what you're saying? We traveled in the South Zagora, in the South. Where should we begin, brother? Well, uh, well, for one, uh, you know, I find it very rude that uh, you can even say hello to us. And, uh, uh, you know, with you, you just have quite that attitude for uh, being the one on the Yeah, well, uh, first of all, we want to hear a little from you, you know, we want to hear about you. We want to hear about both of you. Tell us a little about yourselves, you know. What have you been through to make it here? Right. Of course, yeah. yeah. Well, what are some obstacles you had to go through? How did, how did you end up in all of this? You know, the simple stuff. No, I haven't been around this many people since the capital, but... It's kind of hard to remember that far back. Almost, uh... No man, I ain't gonna waste your time, whatever this is. Uh, I used to be a used car salesman. You know, uh, selling cars to folks. Yeah, it's a sleazy trade, I'll tell you that. And, uh, car salesman, sure, sure, you know. If one has to make money, well, did have to make money, that is. But, um, yeah. And then what, how did you end up here? Well, I picked up a few uh, skills from uh, people here and there. In the capital, uh, people look for a certain kind of folks to uh, look for unwanted individuals that wronged them. Yeah, they're such easy targets. The, uh, I guess you could call me a bounty hunter of sorts, but I only do that on the side. Ooh, bounty hunting sounds interesting. Sound muted. Got any tales of some of the people you've hunted? No, there's a lot of uh, slave trading scum types. They always try and offer me to. Uh, hunt down uh, the girls that they'd enslaved into the sex slave trade. It's not my doing. I don't do any of that. Women are uh, supposed to be treated with respect where I have come from, and I do not uh, be taken lightly to them. Uh, don't worry, we're not going to disrespect her. We just, uh, uh, just want to know some stuff about you guys. So, uh, you, ma'am, what, uh, what, what brings you here? Uh, you know, what, what brings you here? Uh, what did you do before? before? And uh, what are some obstacles you had to go through while you've been? She's not the talk to type, is she? Yeah, cat got your tongue. Yeah. Can can you talk? What a shame! What a shame! Okay. Well, she she says she can't talk. So, yeah. Mister, how how do you communicate with 
her? How do you get her to speak to you? How, how do you understand what she's trying to tell you? Uh, to be honest, I, I don't usually uh, be speaking to her. She just kind of points at things. She uh, sometimes she's able to write a word here and there, I seen, but lets me know. It's, it's hard to understand, I guess, from outside in. <laughs> So you just have somebody who never speaks all year round. Seems kind of dangerous, doesn't it? I don't think there are any guards on the front door. Let's just look around. I mean, if I was going to be traveling with someone, I'd at least like them to say something now and again. I mean, yeah, I'm quite a quiet person, but uh, I speak when it's needed. Oh, well, she um, speaks sometimes, only one or two words. It's, uh, not sure. She, she saved me from some folks that got the drop on me a while back. And I just uh, help her. It's uh, a good uh, relation. Oh, she helped you, she? That's very noble. Well, maybe some form of trauma has put her into this situation, you know? Hmm, could be mental, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not one to cry into it, but uh, if she doesn't want to speak, then very well. Yeah, but brother, um, apparently the... Uh, um, yeah. Brother. Uh, apparently the woman cannot speak. Oh, well, you know, obviously if she cannot speak, then... Then, uh, there's nothing we could do about that. You know, we have to make it work, though. We have to get to know her, of course, right? You know? but, uh, I, I, I know how we could have come across. We could we could just ask questions and she'll uh, she'll shake her she'll shake her head whether it's uh, yes or no. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, yes, simple yes or no questions. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, we'll work with you on this. You know. Now listen, I don't know if the brothers explained, but you know we like to get to to know people for the simple reason is uh, we just want people to be at the best these days, right? We need survivors, right? You know, you see us, you may be in a situation you may not like, but understand this: our only enemy these days are the infected. And what we wish to do is just look for the best in you. And, uh, and if you show that best in front of us, you know, we'll, you know, we reward you sometimes. I mean, our, our philosophy you know, is a little strange. Don't get me wrong, not a lot of people understand it. But with time and a little bit of uh, open-mindedness, you know, people seem to get it, right? And, uh, you know, when they do get it, I think they're better off on it. You know, that's what we've been told. People thank us. So, I just hope that you have an open mind about this, you know, and embrace the things the brothers are going to tell you today. You know, they're going to ask you a few questions, and, you know, certain questions you may think, you know, it doesn't explain much about a person, but in reality, you know, an answer can say a lot about someone. So, you know, I, uh, I'm sure you two will be fine, you know. And, made it this far, right? Or I hope. I don't know when you've, you've gone here, but that's brother's job to find out. So, good luck to you both. And uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll talk again, but uh, I'll let brothers handle the rest of it. We'll go ahead and start off with you. I just have a few questions to uh, go along with the previous one. Uh, other than this woman, have you ever... Uh, tagged along or rolled with uh, another person? I don't know about tagging along. I've met plenty of people in my line of work that they uh, helped me do a job and we split the split the currency, whatever it is, 50-50, however many people working with us on the day work with many people. I couldn't only tell you what their operation names are. I don't even know who they are. So, so sorry, you're saying uh, something about a job. I I, uh, I may have not uh, caught what you're saying earlier. What what jobs are you talking about exactly? You said you were you're talking uh, about the uh, hitman stuff, right? You're talking about the pay. Hit me. I don't kill people. I'm just hunt them you down and bring them back. Oh, hunter, right? So you don't kill people. You just hunt them down and take them back alive. All right. Well, we'll go back. That's there. right. Yeah. 
Okay, okay so, uh, ma ma'am, did you know this is what he has done? And, uh, I don't know, does he still do it? Do you still do it? Fine. Well, uh, just made it into this place. Uh, not really sure. There's a market for that kind of thing which folks might exploit. If you have uh, people here now, you looking to find. Sir? So uh, did, did, did you know, and you can nod your head to answer these questions, do you know that uh, this was the work he did? Okay. And, uh, and, you, and you trusted a man knowing that there was a possibility he could just take you away and take you to some random people who would, uh, okay. I don't know what to ask other than, uh, yes or no questions for you, considering you can only nod your head, so this is a uh, hard. Brother, do you have any, uh, questions for Well, I was wondering... Do either of you have any physical scars or, you know, anything like the like? Have you been tortured? Have you been put to any kind of slavery? Anything like that? Uh -huh. um, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so uh, what was it? Were you mugged? Were you, uh, were you put in as a slave? Did they torture you as a slave? Uh, right. and, uh, <clears throat> is the reason you cannot speak due to that torture? The torturing they uh, did? Do you? Oh, yes. and, uh, uh, and then this man has nothing to do with any of that. Okay. Okay. I, I just like to make sure. <clears throat> you know. no, no offense to you, sir. You know, you just, uh, just need to know everything. You know. Uh, uh, any particular reason why okay. behind his house? You have to do what you have to do. Yeah. What is your job? I don't know, I don't know. Don't know my time. Yeah. So be it. Wait a fucking minute. He walked in there with your bowl. By any chance, are uh, any of you hungry or thirsty? Sure all right. I'm fine. Okay, no. okay just, just make it sure. You know, I like to make sure you guys are healthy. Well, I think it's best if you stand so, here, brother. Have, have you ever been sure mugged thing. or sure thing. robbed or tortured or cool. put into uh, the slave, okay, thing. The slave trade? Yeah. No. No. None, none of this. <laughs> what, what is the... What, what is the worst thing you've been through? Yes, tell us your biggest, what do you call it, um, what's a good word for it? Um, your biggest pain, no pain, I guess the words are funny, right? So sorry. what's your name, fella? I had no use for fella. Yeah, well, oh. I got one that Onyx me? calls me, it's Taz. Your worst yeah, experience? I'm not so sure. That's, that's Hard to explain, it's I guess. It's the most painful experience, you know? Losing my son, probably the worst experience ever happened to me. Not sure. And did you lose your son uh, during this whole th while well, afterwards? I mean, to be completely honest, you're in our area. They were here too, that's why they're in there. Uh, do you have any more questions for him? Yeah, I figured. I've seen you guys run all about. I have the questions. Oh, is that no? I was kind of that you know, right? giving them a chance to maybe uh, tell us something all about themselves, but uh, in my opinion, they both seem like they've, uh, uh, well, I know, experienced life a little differently to us, right? I am sorry for your son. Uh -oh. you know, that is Apart from this one, the slavery, I don't really see much suffering happening, really, you know? And I don't really see either of them being through much, apart from the physical yeah, torture you, you and slavery. You always lose a loved one, but to, uh, to be put through uh, yes, slavery, exactly. torture, and... Uh, 
not to be able to talk after all of that, you know, this one with the woman, not, honestly, seems a lot stronger than, than the man, in my opinion. Mm, but the fact she isn't talking does, you know, it just seem a little... Yeah. But, uh, but she did say that she's not able to speak due to the torturing, so maybe... But that's more of a psychological thing, we're not talking like, she had her tongue cut out, did you? Do you still have your tongue, lady? There we go. Okay, see, so I didn't even think of that, counts. I didn't ask that. You're right. <clears throat> so, so can I ask you both uh, one big question? And uh, I only want a single answer for this big question. What is the one thing that you absolutely need to survive nowadays? I keep forgetting. How is she going to answer this? That's a good point. Uh, well, I, I think it's different for you folks, but I think for me it's information. 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 I'm sorry, that wasn't the answer we were looking for. But the information is useful, scared. but it's not the one thing you need. That's for sure. But uh, when you say information, I, I'm just curious. I mean, it's not the answer we're looking for, but out of curiosity, what what type of information are you talking about? I would just like that. In my line of work, if you're ever able to stay alive, keep living, doing what you're doing, the longer you're alive and the longer people uh, hear of your reputation, then the easier it is for you to get a job and the easier your bill, everything is paid for, especially back in the capital before I had to leave that place. You have information on where people are or what people are doing. It's pretty easy to uh, make a living, at least in my line of work. Yes. Call me a blood sucker, but... Uh, yes, you have a session with material possessions, right? You talk of money, you talk of payments, but you don't talk of pain or suffering or I torment. Don't. I just don't really You're doing good, how about yourself? Looks like your voice is going to be sad like the rest of us. Uh, I'm sorry? What did you say? I have another question for you, fellow. I did. Mm -hmm. like you, I'm still doing pretty good, what about yourself? I can't complain. I don't know, I'm a little everything in you have on you. Everything in your possession. Like I've told everything you, the boys. you have. What do you think you need the most? Hmm? Yeah. What one of, one of my what I think I my need the most. Friends is up in that building there talking to one of your guys. Oh, which one? Probably, uh, probably shoes. You want Morgan. me to be honest? I need a good Morgan. pair of shoes I've been looking for for a while, but you don't find many on the road. No, I didn't want to. Yeah, good the pair of shoes. If you don't have shoes, yeah, let true. me tell you. That's I've true. seen folks without shoes. They ain't fun. You won't cut on your that. feet. No, you Eventually just, you um, won't get a, fine, get an infection. You know, and you I mean, just for safety, all I came down here to do is more important than you came down here to do was to see how he was doing. Obviously he's not oh, hurt. Obviously you guys are cool, so I, I don't give a shit. Of course, of course he's fine, man. We're just a bit of teaching, you know, just seeing if uh, just seeing if, who he is, I'm getting to know him a bit. You can get to know you if you don't find Sure, you don't talk, man. Talk to talk. Come on, shit. Come on. Come on, man. Come talk. Dad, join me. Put your hands up. Put that gun on the back.